We want to use the alternating series test to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. To apply the alternating series test, we're given that a sub n, the non-alternating part of the infinite series, is greater than zero, and the alternating series converges if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero and a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n, meaning the terms are non-increasing. So looking at the infinite series, notice that a sub n, the non-alternating part would be n to the second divided by the square root of n to the fourth plus ten. Notice how a sub n is greater than zero for all values of n, and now we'll determine the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n. There is a shortcut method for determining this limit by looking at the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice how the degree of the numerator is degree two. So looking at the denominator, notice how the plus ten is irrelevant as n approaches infinity. So we can think of the denominator as the square root of n to the fourth, which equals n to the second. So the numerator has degree two, and we can think of the denominator as degree two as well. So when we take the limit as n approaches infinity, and the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, the limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients. So in this case, we'd have one over one, which would equal positive one. So this limit equals positive one, which is not equal to zero, and therefore the series diverges by the nth term divergence test. But we can also show some work to determine this limit. To show the work, we would divide everything by the highest power of n in the denominator, which in our case would be n to the fourth underneath the square root. So to show some work, we can write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of, in the denominator, we'd have the square root of n to the fourth divided by n to the fourth plus ten divided by n to the fourth. But this is n to the fourth under the square root, which is equal to n squared outside the square root. So for the numerator, we would divide by n squared. And now if we simplify, we have the limit as n approaches infinity of, the numerator would be one, the denominator would be the square root of one plus ten divided by n to the fourth. Notice in this form, we can more easily determine this limit is equal to one, since this fraction here approaches zero as n approaches infinity, so we'd have one over the square root of one, or just one. And this does not equal zero, and therefore the alternating series diverges by the nth term divergence test. So if the alternating series test doesn't apply, and the series diverges by the nth term divergence test. I hope you found this helpful.